Today, we're gonna be ordering the best barber kit off of Timu. And while I had no idea what that was about 24 hours ago, I now know everything is extremely cheap on there. Okay, so I found the Rusuki Transparent Professional. Basically, these are, I guess, knockoff TOPBs. Wow, I feel like TPOBs are already knockoffs. This is probably the next level. So I am gonna be ordering this green one right here only because, I don't know, I'm just feeling the green with the yellow and it just looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna be ordering that. It says, hurry, over 999 people have added this to their cards. It's basically trying to like get you to buy it. $16 for a damn clipper, not complaining. It also says it comes with like four guards, a charger and a little brush. I'm, I'm definitely buying that. So this thing looks exactly like the Babyliss FX trimmer. Rechargeable cordless hair clippers with T-Blade. I'm probably Probably gonna compare them side by side when I get the, uh, the this knockoff version and then the real one. Oh god, that's pretty cool. Okay, so you're going into the cart, dude. Next up, order a shaver, and I know exactly which shaver I'm going for. So it really just caught my eye because you never see a shaver with three heads, which means it's three times as fast as a single one, which I had never seen. I've never used anything like this, so I'm definitely ordering this. All right, so I never actually add blow dryers to any kit I buy and whatnot, but this one, this one looks really different. Okay. Okay, 2474, not bad for a blow dryer, and it basically works like a Dyson. Okay, next we need a barber cape. Every cape on here looks pretty cheap, but we're still gonna be ordering it. How do you even make money off of that? I don't get this. I want very different things, some that I haven't gotten before. So these are 1124. I'm gonna be adding this. They look pretty cool, and they are some chameleon type of colorway. Not bad for shears, literally half the price of what we get on Amazon all the time. So I'm just saying, if they work great, I will let you guys know. 25 piece alligator clips for $8, bro. Okay, most of the time, 25 piece of alligator clips will cost you around like freaking $30. It costs $8 here, which is pretty crazy. It's 56% off. Okay, so next we're gonna be ordering this one piece detangling hair comb dense, basically a fade comb. They just have this long ass title to it. It looks pretty cool. It looks like a fade comb. So I could definitely just put my little clipper through there and uh, clipper over comb. So that's what I'm looking for, for 99 cents again. I'm not used to these prices. It's so cheap. Okay, so as I was looking for a brush, I kind of figured I don't have a comb yet. And then this came out and now I'm like, okay, well I could kill two birds with one stone, which is this brush right here. So 88 cents, 83% off, definitely buying this one. Okay, now we are gonna need a razor and one that already comes with blades. So we basically have fake, again, knockoff Darko blades. It looks like it from the packaging. And then just a regular razor. I don't know whether this is like a good quality razor from them or not, but it's 179. This little mist bottle, I've never seen something like this, but uh, it looks freaking cool. That's why I'm ordering it. It's for 257, guys. Can't get over the fact that everything is so damn cheap. To complete our Timu kit, we need a neck duster, and I found this very weird looking makeup slash huge old neck duster. It just looks so weird, and again, we're grabbing it for $5.58. We're adding that into the cart, no doubt. Again, I don't trust this website, but I am about to make my transaction. I hope I don't get robbed. We're gonna unbox those and actually put them up to the test. Okay, we just got our Timu package and I'm not gonna lie, I actually expected like a big old box at least, but it's all packaged in this like little cheap plastic bag, I guess. Let's open this up and actually see what we got because I'm eager to know what the hell these products look like. I don't have an idea. I've never seen one in person. Oh God, um, let's go with the first item that I see. Okay, this fade comb to start off feels really good and slim. It's definitely smaller than your average fade comb, so that's pretty cool. Okay, so obviously a cape is gonna be a must have in every barber kit, but I could literally see through it. I don't know if you guys can see me through, but uh, if you could see through a cape, it's not good. Obviously you don't want the hair to go through. $2 for this cape, obviously it's not, it's not anything special. I don't remember how much this was, but our neck duster feels pretty good. It feels pretty soft. I wouldn't expect it to be wooden, but it is wood and it's heavy. So damn, actually good job, Timu, what the heck? Our spray bottle, not that bad. It feels like any other spray bottle. It's just that this one kind of fades from black to clear. I kind of expected the fade to be a little longer so it could look natural, but I guess this just goes straight from black to clear. But the thing about these spray bottles is the mist itself. So we shall try that out when I start rating the product. We now have a comb and brush. I chose this one out in specific because I wanted something very different, something that not a lot of people 
people use. This is definitely rare. This brush feels very hard. Again, very cheap, but I bought it for like a dollar, I think, with a comb at the bottom. Boom, next up is the shear, and I actually got the thinning shears for them too. Okay, so from feel and looks, these are already giving me some type of like good vibes. I feel like they'll cut good and they'll like shear work good. But thing is, I can't just base it off the looks and all that. Performance is a thing. So we'll have to rate these throughout the haircut. Um, This right here already comes with a blade, which is pretty dangerous, I would say. We'll see if it actually raises everything properly. But yeah, the handle feels pretty cheap. The metal feels cheap as well but again you can't expect too much we paid literally 10 percent of the freaking price for these so keep that in mind let's see let's see let's see all right so why not unbox the blue one Ooh, quality is not that great obviously we paid ten dollars for more than expected so that's pretty good it's not gonna be as great but it will do the job for sure it will do the job for the amount we paid for again this is amazing this is an amazing deal you can literally choose within so many colorways okay so i brought my real babyless clipper but let's just unbox the actual one that we got from timu and literally if i put the mold in here it replicates it very well because it's just a cheaper version of the actual babyless it has no branding it has this very weird grip check that out dude it's literally the same thing the same size they kind of really did a good job with the whole replication this one does have the little digital dash so if we turn it on it turns on it's basically at 100 percent right now i don't know if you guys can see that doesn't really feel as powerful as as this obviously it's not going to be anything near the strength of this okay so this trimmer without even knowing i unboxed the bottom portion of it and got some guards so you get four guards in here all right next we're going to go on to our shaver these next couple products are the ones i've been waiting for to unbox i just saw him on timu or demo and like dude i was amazed the fact that this has three heads it's not so heavy but it's not light at all so i would say w for now okay so i think it's because it needs more power to power up all three and then it's kind of plasticky so it's gonna feel very powerful but i i like it okay so if you know one little shaver head one foil not that efficient two mm, what the average use three, which is what team we use is never seen this before. I think this might be very effective, especially on time. So if you're cutting all day, this might be a thing. If it shaves pretty good, I'm definitely gonna put this out there and uh, you should definitely pick it up if I rate it more than a four star, seriously. Okay, two items left and I will say, why does it show me three clippers? Okay, it shows me the red one. I Did I order the red one? I think I ordered the green one. Okay, so first thoughts on this clipper is it's very glossy. I like the yellow with the whole green vibe and whatever, but this imitates metal and it's not really metal. It looks kind of plasticky, so I will say that. Feels like a TPLB, it feels exactly like it. So uh, the fact that I got this for about $14, I think, is pretty surreal. It comes with a little digital dash. I'm not too sure if the TPLB came with a digital dash, but this is basically a green one. It has a good amount of weight to it, I'm not gonna lie. You also get a charger, a little brush to brush off the hair off your clipper, this little fade comb, this wall replica fade comb, but if you're on a budget, basically all you need. You do get four guards, a one, two, three, and the four. If you're trying to fade, it's not gonna do. You need this half guard right here, but let's test out my guards on this clipper right here. I had to get the green on green. So they are universal, so I kind of knew they'd fit, but I just had to test it out. Okay, so the last product I've been wanting to unbox is this freaking hair dryer, and it looks so weird, which is why I left it to the end. Okay, so first impressions off of this is it feels really, really cheap, but I will say, I think it'll do the job. Like, I want to test this out. Let me plug this in. All right. I, will, I will say I actually like this, and the fact that it comes with this little clip right here and it's you could actually move it around and whatnot that's pretty cool bro that's actually really nice i was expecting this little ball head to move around but again what am i expecting for 20 dollars? all right so it's time to test out each and every product we got from timu and see if this entire barber kit is actually worth it Okay guys, so to start, I'm going to be rating each demo product from 1 to 5 stars, starting with our spray bottle, which is an automatic 5 star, due to it being consistent with the amount of mist coming from each pump. Next, I use a simple little 2-in-1 comb slash brush, and I do have to say it was a game changer. Although the bristles were a bit stiff, it served its purpose, and comparing it to the price, I think it was well worth it. 
four star. Now for the clipper, I'd say the price that we purchased this for is an automatic five star. I didn't zero gap these only because I wanted to see what I could do with it being straight from Timu, but it was cutting and it felt like other competitors in the market, if you know what I mean. The fact that my guards fit right on this is a plus because who doesn't like color matching, style and performance, aced, five star for sure. As for the fade comb, it really just felt nice in hand and definitely felt like a five star, even from just the feel of it. You guys, our trimmer was hitting seriously. The knockoff Fabulous is good, but you could tell the power wasn't really there. Three out of five stars for me. Okay, the shaver was so good that no joke, I wish professional companies would make something like this because it does save a lot of time. And again, I had never seen anything like this. So professional companies should catch on. Again, this time thing is so crucial that it's an automatic five stars. Now I had no problem with our duster. This thing was so soft and really just knocked off everything in its way. Super soft, five stars. Texturizing shears looked awesome. For beginners, this is definitely the move, but if you're more experienced, this is not gonna cut as much bulk as you'd like. So three out of five stars in my opinion. Razor wasn't so bad, but it was pretty difficult to get the blade inside of the holder. So be careful when doing so, especially if you're new and decided to buy. It was sharp, but nothing compared to like a Darko or Derby blades. As for the main shears, they were okay, but not the sharpest. I wasn't expecting anything crazy for the price that we paid for. So three out of five stars for these. Finally, this blow dryer looked cool, but it wasn't too crazy. Like honestly, it just did whatever other blow dryer would. So three out of five stars in my opinion. So there you have it. A Demu Barber Kit is definitely well worth the money. I would say I would actually get this if I was a beginner or I just didn't have much of a budget to spend on a Barber Kit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Marty Blends and I'm out. Peace.